that's all I heard was a, a bang, and then I heard Ray. By the time I got up, the couch is here where I am in the coffee table. By the time I got the coffee table, I heard ah, and then I seen the guy coming up, and I started throwing whatever I could grab. I grabbed a cup and a clock that was on the on the thing. I was throwing whatever to keep them down uh, from coming up, and the one guy snuck in, and then the other one was coming up. So I went to go get him, and that's when I got the crowbar over the head. So, by the time after I got attacked, um, the guy with the crowbar ran out the door. Another guy was coming up. I threw something, and they both took off out the door. There was two more outside. One threw something in the door, and when they ran out, they closed the door, so I knew they were gone out of the house. I went downstairs to check on my nephew to make sure he was okay, and he was lying on the floor. There was blood all over downstairs, and the, there was a hole in his neck about that big, and the blood was squirting out. And as I was going down the stairs, I could hear him gurgling his last breath. And his eyes were rolled up in his head. And there's nothing I, did, I could do to save him. And why did all this happen? Over accusations for them being kicked out and stuff like that. It was all accusation and lies. Um, and this come down to it because there was uh, accusations of Ray putting a knife to her son's neck, which Ray wasn't there. Um, and I guess they said that he slapped Melissa and pushed her kids. And he would never do that. So he wasn't even there in the house to do it. So it was really just domestic stuff. There, was, there were threats that he Yeah, and they, they just did those threats so they can get their friends to come over and basically get us for it. So like they just in and out quick. They knew the setup. And, uh, but I managed to get a good description of the one. Because I caught him just as he was going this way, he turned and I seen the side of his face and then he turned again and I recognized him, I recognized the hat he was wearing and everything. The niece, the niece Melissa, George and her boyfriend were bossing the daughter around making the daughter feel unwanted. So then uh, that's when he decided to talk to the niece, obviously, hey, you can't be doing this to my child, everything else, and then mm -hmm. this happens.